Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Okay, welcome back barbecue friends. Today, we're hitting the road. I'm gonna take one of my $2 barbecues here. We're gonna go to our local meat store. We're gonna find something to cook up. We're gonna go find a place to go cook it. I'll bring you along for the ride. Let's get started. All right, I'm in the parking lot at my local meat store here in Medell's. Got myself a nice ribeye that we're gonna cook on the barbecue. And I got something called the world's best steak seasoning. So who could go wrong with that? So I'm gonna put this on the steak here in the tailgate. Then we're gonna go for a drive, find a place to cook this. Look at that steak. Let's put this rub on here. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up, throw it in my cooler. On our way to go find a place to cook, the steak seasoning will do its job. We're at Holiday Beach Conservation Area, and we're gonna go cook up a steak. Arrived here at Holiday Beach. And we're gonna go check out the water right now. Try to find a good spot to cook this steak. Walk down this trail, make our way to the water. And here we are. Just a beautiful morning here. Nice calm day on the lake. We'll take a look at the water here. Beautiful calm day. Walk down the beach here, see if we can find a good spot. We have this nice big tree, the uprooted tree that's on the beach. It's casting a bit of shade. I'm thinking that might be a good spot. Let's walk around, see if we can Get find a nice other. walking trail here up just off the beach. Just looking for a little bit of shade to sit in as well. I think I found a nice spot on the beach under a big tree that's casting a shadow. So let's go get set up down there. And we'll get this thing going. Okay, we got a little shade from this tree here. Some little setup right here. Nice view of the water. Now we'll open up our barbecue and light that. Then we'll light this up. Hopefully this will take care of a lot of the flies that are coming around. See what a nice spot I got here. Got my 
barbecue lit. It's going to take about 20 minutes for that to burn off. While we're doing that, we'll just enjoy the scenery. Get ourselves a water here. Okay, our accelerant all burnt off the charcoal here. So it's time to get the steak on. Now one thing I forgot is my barbecue tongs to flip the steak. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sandwich the steak between two pieces of stick. First thing I'm gonna do is do the sides. There, see if this works. Okay, do the other side, if I can. That worked pretty good. I'll lay that right on the coals there. Bring in closer there, I got that right on the coals. I'll use my fork here to flip it when we're ready. Nice. That bird just flew down, grabbed a fish. Now he's got it in it. He just dropped it. Very cool. Ooh, that's coming along nicely. All right, it's been a couple minutes. Let's give this a flip. Oh yeah. The other thing I didn't bring is my thermometer. So we're just gonna go by touch and see how it looks. Go by how, how it feels. Now the best part about a ribeye like this, if you can get a nice sear on the outside, but a nice tender interior. This kind of barbecue, it's extremely hot. Your steak's right next to the coals. So it's kind of the best scenario to make a steak. Oh, oh, oh boy, that looks good. This is about done here. So I'm going to get myself set up where we can put it on the plate. Got my steak knife. Got my fork. All right, let's give the steak one more flip. Starting to feel a little firmer on this side. I'm a little soft still here. Just give that a little bit more. Now those steak juices are starting to drip on the coals. I think we're almost ready to come off. Okay, time for this to come off. Look at that. Okay, we'll just let that rest for a bit. Here's my scenery during this cook today. Right on Lake Erie here. Wow, what a great spot to cook a steak. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes or so. Let's cut into the steak. Well, 
It's a little more well than what I do, do, but we still got some pink in the middle. Still nice and tender. Look at that. Just pull it apart. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That seasoning's got this great tanginess to it, like a like a peppery dill flavor. Well, it's really different. The flies are actually pretty busy down here, but with the charcoal grill, I think it kind of flat them off a little bit. And it was a little cool this morning, so I wore long pants, but now I'm kind of glad I did. Sometimes it's good to get out of the backyard, take your cook on the road, go to a nice park like this. Even if you're by yourself. Oh, a nice tasty steak. Boy, that rub, it's different with that. It's got a different flavor. Boy, for it to be the world's best rub, and I'm just hearing of it now. Wow, this is good. If you enjoyed this type of video where I take my barbecue on the road, go visit a park somewhere, let me know by smashing that like button. Got any suggestions for me? Comment below. I try to get to back to everybody who comments. If you want to see more of these videos, click that subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg. Thanks for watching Barbecue with Greg, one of those barbecue cooking shows people watch on YouTube sometimes.